Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a dishwasher. Well, this dishwasher has a little problem, and I'll show you what that is. So I pulled the dishwasher out, and if you look at the upper right-hand side of the dishwasher, you will see something unpleasant. You will see a leak. Yes, indeed, this dishwasher leaks. And it looks like it leaks along a seal. Now, I don't believe that this was damaged when it was installed. It probably was damaged during transport. But still, it's leaking along a seal, and so what do you do? So looking inside the dishwasher, you can also see that the damage extends in here as well. You could see the seam or the seal along two uh, pieces that have pulled apart, and that's where the water is coming out. So unfortunately, this kind of damage is kind of hard to deal with. Uh, really, manufacturers don't really repair it, and the best you can do is perhaps return it and see if you can get a refund if it's, if it's still under warranty. However, today I'm going to try a different tact. I'm going to try to seal up this leak with an RTV silicon sealant, as you can see here. So RTV stands for Room Temperature Vulcanizing Sealant. And there are many different kinds of brands out there. But when you purchase uh, your sealant, you want to look for food safe or FDA food safe sealant since it's going to be in a dishwasher and also something that's higher temperature perhaps around 350 degrees or higher since their uh, dishwashers typically have really hot water. So first I'm just going to remove this back plate to better expose the joint uh, since this plastic plate is kind of in the way. And then I'm just going to take some isopropic alcohol and try to clean up both sides of the joint as best I can. Now you can see there is some uh, residual sealant that's there from the manufacturer. Uh, I don't intend to remove it all. Mainly I just want to try to get some of the food products and some of the uh, kind of oils off the surfaces. And then you want to take the tube applicator that comes with the sealant and kind of cut it to size. You could make it so it applies a thin bead or a thicker bead depending on your needs. Then you want to take off the cap to the sealant tube and notice that the top of it probably has kind of a pointy conical shape. Now that will help you puncture the top of the sealant tube and at that time the sealant will come out. Then all you have to do is screw on your applicator tube. Then it's just a matter of filling in the gap that's causing the leak with the sealant. Now for this repair, the water that's coming out is not in high pressure. That's why this repair should work. The sealant should bond adequately to both sides and seal up this hole. As you can see, the sealant I'm applying is a black color. I believe you could also purchase these type of sealants in a clear form uh, if that's desired. If you have access to both sides of the separation, you want to try to fill in both sides. Now, you don't have to make a mound on the exterior with the sealant, but you want to try to fill in as much of the gap as possible to, to prevent voids in between that could leak. And then after the sealant is applied, you just want to wait about 24 hours before you use the dishwasher so it could set properly. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.